this story is just crazy. Uh, a few months back, a bunch of my friends and I were hanging out at my place in my basement. There were like 10 of us. We were drinking, playing Mario Kart, and just having a good time. Whenever I'm buzzed or feeling really good, I always want to do something spooky and fun. So I suggested that we all do a Ouija board. Some of my friends were hesitant, but others really wanted to try it out. I pulled the board out and put it on the table. We turned off all the lights, lit a few candles so that the mood would be even creepier. I've done the Ouija board plenty of times and knew how to talk to it and communicate. We started off with basic questions like, are there any spirits here with us, or are you a good spirit or a bad spirit? That's when I asked the board to give us a sign if you are here with us now. The planchette on the board started to move. Some of my friends started to laugh while others thought it was creepy. The planchette moved to the numbers, DVC, 12FG. At first we thought these were just random numbers and letters. I figured it was just random because I had a suspicion that some of my friends were just moving the planchette themselves. But my one buddy, Eric, who was standing behind us and watching, yelled. We all turned to face him and asked what's wrong. He said what the board just spelled out was the license plate of his 2015 Yamaha motorcycle. Eric was freaked out by this, but we all kind of laughed and brushed it off. I figured it was one of my friends who might have just known the plate number and moved it to it. Well, a week after we did the Ouija board, I saw on Facebook that Eric was in a really bad motorcycle accident. His mom posted about it and said that he was in the hospital. It was pretty bad. Me and all my friends went to the hospital to visit him. He was in the hospital bed, conscious and telling us how the doctors almost had to amputate his leg. The femur had snapped and almost sliced a major artery. But get this. Eric was saying that when he crashed his motorcycle, he saw this huge bright angelic being. He said when he saw it, he turned his bike to the left, into some trees, instead of the right, which would have put him into head-on traffic. He says that the angelic being saved his life. But he also said that the Ouija board was either trying to warn us or let him know something was going to happen. He was on a lot of drugs and medication, but he did end up making a full recovery. Even to this day, he swears the Ouija board has something to do with his accident and that he will never do one again. He also believes in guardian angels now too and has become more religious. It was all very eye-opening to me too. I've joined Eric in not doing Ouija boards either. They are definitely real. This happened back in 2012. My family and I are big beach bums. Like, we can go to any beach at any time, in any weather. Well, not any weather, but you get the point. We rented out this big beach house in Brigantine, New Jersey in mid-October. My whole family, plus my other uncles, aunts, and cousins also joined. There was like 25 of us in total. And when you rent a beach house in the off-season, it's way cheaper, which is great. Anyway, I was like 16 at the time, as were most of my other cousins. I can't remember exactly who brought it, but one of my other cousins had brought along a Ouija board. We kept this pretty hush-hush from the parents because we knew they would either throw it away or not let us use it. So our plan was to wait till all the adults were asleep, and then we would use it. The beach house was massive, and on the first floor, there was this big room with a TV and a bar in it. At 2 a.m. in the morning, all my cousins snuck down into there, and we got out the Ouija board. I don't know why, but doing something you're not supposed to was always a thrill for me. Anyway, we laid it out on the floor, turned off all the lights, and turned on flashlights so that we had minimal light. Now, I will state this right now. I never in my life believed these things were real. I always looked at them as harmless fun. Well, we start doing it, and all of our hands are on the planchette. I can only speak from my point of view, but instantly we felt the planchette pull. We watched in amazement as the board started to spell out the words, L-E-A-V-E, -E, leave. 
A bunch of my cousins claimed that it was one of us doing it, but I'll be honest, I wasn't too sure. After that though, nothing really happened. We asked it a bunch of more questions, but either I could clearly tell it was one of my cousins moving it, or we would just keep laughing until the planchette would fall over. After like a half hour of messing with it, we decided to call it a night. Here's where shit gets crazy. The next morning, we all wake up and every single one of my uncles, and including my father, was sick. Like, they all had the same symptoms of a fever and headaches. It was actually so bad that we had to cut the trip short so they could all go to the hospital back home. And I was so bummed out. But when me and my family got back to our house in PA, we saw on the news how Hurricane Sandy was about to come through New Jersey. I instantly thought back to when we did the Ouija board the night before and it spelled out, leave. I truly believe in my heart that some spirit communicated with us to get out of Jersey before the hurricane hit. Because if we would have stayed the whole trip, we would have been in the middle of that hurricane. I tell this story to everyone I can and I'm still in shock and awe by it. I used to not believe in Ouija boards, but now I'm a firm believer in them. Back when I was single and more wild than I am now, I used to use Tinder all the time. I'll sound like an asshole, but I really wasn't looking for anything serious and just wanted to have fun. I matched with this girl Destiny. The best way I can describe her is witchy goth. She was tatted up, had long black hair, and was very petite. As wild as she looked, she was actually really good looking. Well. We matched on Tinder, talked for a bit, and decided that we should hang out. I lived with four roommates at the time, and it was almost impossible to have alone time, so we agreed that we would hang out at her apartment. I got there on a Friday night. She lived in downtown Philadelphia, which isn't the nicest area, but whatever. We instantly hit it off. She loved all my stupid jokes and thought I was really cool. The whole night, we were both sharing a bottle of tequila to help keep things light. Anyway, we've been hanging out for almost an hour when Destiny asked if I wanted to do a Ouija board. I laughed at this and said sure, hell yeah, let's do it. That was mostly the liquor talking and up until that point, I had never done one. She went to this game closet and pulled it out. She dimmed the lights in the living room lit a bunch of incense, and pulled out the spell book. I'll be honest, if these were any other circumstances, I'd be out. But, hot girl, so, yeah. I thought it would be just a stupid fun thing to do, but Destiny took it pretty seriously. She had the spell book out and was reading off these weird chants and sayings. Honestly, there were parts that creeped me the hell out. At one point during the Ouija board, she said, Beast strengthen me from within, and let out this animalistic moan. It was super weird. I played along the whole time, and after we finished, we eventually headed to her bedroom for the night. Well, get this. I wake up at some ungodly time in the middle of the night. I'm in her tiny, uncomfortable bed, and I don't see her. I look over into the corner of her room, and she's standing there, facing the wall and talking very softly and very quickly. I asked her if she was okay, and she just turned to me and said she's conversing with the beast. Don't ask me what she meant by that because I have no clue. But she was in what looked like a full-blown conversation with nobody that I could see. I honestly should have been more freaked out than I was. Somehow, I was able to go back to sleep. The next morning, I leave and head back to my apartment. I was telling my roommates how my night went when I got a text. It was from Destiny. It said, The Ouija board said your energy was bad, and the beast agrees. I'm sorry, but we can no longer associate. May fortune fare you well. Have a good life. Again, I wasn't even looking for anything serious at that time in my life. But that Destiny chick was on some real witchcraft shit that I want nothing to do with. That was hands down the craziest experience of my life. I haven't seen her since or done a Ouija board.
and I never will.